Hey guys, uh, my name is Renee. I just want to say good day from all the mob here in Glen Rowan, Australia. Um, as a God Squad, we're about the Jesus story. And the bit of the story we want to look at today is in John 21, right at the end. After his crucifixion, Jesus says to Peter, one of his disciples, Follow me. Peter thinks to himself, Where has Jesus just been? What has he just been through, having been humiliated and flogged? killed on the cross. His reply, follow you. And seeing John, he says, what about him? And Jesus said, what if I want him to live a long and easy life? What is that to you? Harsh words coming from the author of love and forgiveness. But nothing is done in isolation. A few days earlier, Peter had said he would follow Jesus anyway, even to death. Then before the next day dawned, when Jesus was truly in need of a friend, he denied him three times. Tell me, brother. Then Jesus died. That was on Friday. But Sunday he rose from the grave. There's lots of amazing things about that story. But I just want to talk about two. The first is, Jesus seemed to know exactly what was happening before it happened. He knew about his arrest and his shonky trial, his horrible death, and his friends deserting him in the middle of it. And he knew about his resurrection on the third day. He knew all of these things before they happened. The second is that through this whole story, Jesus' mates seem to have no idea about any of it. Three years on the road with Jesus, teaching them, giving them hints about what was coming, and showing them that God's kingdom was completely different to what we think. The disciples seem to have no idea Everything took them by surprise. Jesus' way of life, the people who wanted to be near, and the people who showed to be self-serving. The way he loved people who were dirty, and how quickly he put self-appointed leaders in their place. Jesus' arrest and death certainly took them by surprise. And just when they thought that the whole thing had been a huge waste of time, he rose from the grave. So when Jesus is face to face with Peter again, he gives him a second chance with a challenge, saying to him, do you really love me and look after my people, even when it gets tough? Then he hints at how Peter will die. That's where we came in earlier. That's where Jesus says, follow me. And that's why people said, what about him? Maybe for the first time, Peter understood what Jesus was asking, but still human, Peter was worried about his future. Will it be harder for me than for the others? Has he really been accepted back? Do you feel like life has dealt you a rough hand? Do you look at other people that seem to have it easy and ask why? Have you asked Jesus some tough questions and are not, not sure about his answers? The truth is, John, the other disciple, had life pretty tough as well. But Jesus' point is this, do you love me? Do you trust me? And never mind what I ask anybody else to do. Focus on the job I've given you and just trust me. That's why they call it faith.